should be live on YouTube. Maybe Phil and Hannah could give a confirmation here. Um, I'm checking YouTube. We are live on Facebook. Yeah, I'm seeing it on Facebook. And YouTube. All right, all systems go. Cool, all right. Well, we, we had a full day here full day of activity. Um, thank you, first of all, to all of our amazing competitors who just just played, played the crap out of their guitars for uh, the last three hours or so. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't think that we could have possibly asked for a better, a better group of finalists um, to, to brush off an old chestnut. The level of playing was just so high. <laughs> uh, that was great yeah. and for those that are watching that don't know how the competition works um this was initially 145 people that entered the competition and it was narrowed down by all the way down to 24 and then now down to 12 and then well phil can explain a little bit about how the the prizes work yeah. So the the way that the prizes are going to work is we have uh, three special prizes: the Altamira Prize for uh, best interpretation of a 19th century work, the uh, Music Masters Classics Pro Brower Prize for best interpretation of a piece by Leo Brower, and the BAM Cases Audience Prize, which was based on um, Facebook and Instagram comments and um, people sharing that. So. Uh, and then we have the Augustine Strings Grand Prize, which uh, is sort of in lieu of awarding first, second, third, and fourth prizes, which is what usually happens in these competitions. But um, we felt that since it was our turn to run a competition, that um, the ranking of one, two, three, four doesn't really fit with, with artistry, with different opinions on things and with... Um, people responding more to one person's style of playing or one person's selection of repertoire. So what we decided to do was have the Augustine Strings Grand Prize be split ev evenly between four players. So all four players will receive $500 in cold hard cash and a really incredible nail file uh, sponsored by the Sound File, um, the Scott Tennant Espressivo model, which um, is the Cadillac of nail files. Um, and yeah. also all 12 finalists will get tone-based memberships as well. So everyone here, basically. Yeah, everybody gets a tone-based membership. Woo! Yeah. Um, There's all, all sorts right. of great stuff on there right now. Um, yeah, should we get going with the actual announcement of prizes? Let's get going. Let's do it. Uh, Evan, take it away. Yes. Okay, to start off, we have the audience prize, which has been taking pl place the past week or so since the finalists have been announced. And that is going to the person who has the most comments on their Facebook and Instagram uh, post reshares of uh, their preliminary and semifinal round videos. Um, it was a close call and there's a lot of comments. We went through and sorted out all the duplicates uh, the winner of that prize is Tim Beatty, the BAM Cases Audience Prize. And he has <laughs> a BAM uh, Black Carbon model case, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, okay, the next one I think will be announced by Phil, the, the, uh, the Brower Award. Yeah, so the next prize, um, which is sponsored by Music Masters Classics and the Newman-Oldman Newman Guitar Duo, uh, is for the best interpretation of a work by Leo Brower. And the winner will receive a, uh, a signed LP of the Newman-Oldman Guitar Duo's new album, uh, El Libro de Series Imagineros. I'm really sorry for my Spanish. Uh, it's the Book of Imaginary Beings. And uh, as well as a signed postcard by Leo Brower himself. Um, and that prize will be going to Misael Barraza Diaz for his interpretation of the third movement of the 
uh, Sonata del Pensador. Uh, right? Okay, and now the Altamira Prize. This one is actually being deliberated as we speak, but we didn't want to delay the award ceremony any longer, especially as we have people um, in Europe waiting for the decisions. Um, the the Altamira Prize will go to the person who best performed um, a 19th century guitar piece, and um, they'll be winning the Soar model guitar, Altamira guitar, and that will be announced as soon as possible. It may even be later tonight, so we will let you guys know. Uh, but the team at Altamira is deciding that as we speak. They wanted to listen back to the video, so they have timestamps of everyone who recorded or who performed a 19th century piece. Mm -hmm. um, and then now I'm going to pass it over to Eli at Augustine Strings to say something brief about uh, the Augustine Grand Prize. Yeah, thank you, Evan. Um, thank you all so much, Hannah, Phil, and Evan. Um, I know that you've been working hard at putting this together for a while, and we're super grateful that you were ready to share it uh, at a time when we all really needed it. It's been a really exciting and entertaining diversion for the last few days. Um, to everyone who contributed a a video. Thank you so much. We were blown away by the talent from top to bottom, all 12 hours of it. Um, but even more significant than the talent to us at Augustine Strings was the display of our community coming out in full force. Um, not only does it show the world that we're alive and well, it's um, an inspiring reminder that the future of the guitar is super bright. So congrats to all of you um, on an awesome inaugural competition. And we're super excited to find out who the four champions are. Great. Thank you, Eli. Um, thank you again, everybody who competed, um, all 145 people who submitted originally. And thank you so much to our finalists for competing today. We loved all of your playing. Um, but here are the four winners of the Augustine Grand Prize. Um, first, we have Misael Barraza Diaz, Eitan Benavi, Andres Madariaga, and Marcin Kuznar. So thank you to our four winners, and thank you for all the finalists. Great playing. And also, thank you to the three judges that judged today, who were uh, Gohar Vardanyan, Silvio Chule, and Stephen Lerman. And you can also all inquire with them about uh, judges' comments, if you would like. And um, and also, thank you to our semifinal round judges, Exequa artists, uh, Drago Shilie, Minai Fujiwara, as well as, who am I missing? Uh, Tom! Tom. Tom. <laughs> Poor Tom, yeah. So it's Tom Clippinger. And then uh, no need to thank ourselves, but Phil, Hannah, and I went through the 145 competitors <laughs> with many, many so, hours. A labor of love. We loved every minute of it. <laughs> labor of love, yeah. It was just, we were all blown away and it's so excited about how many people were entering this and seeing the camaraderie amongst everyone and um Everyone's so excited about uh, this festival, and it's so cool to see something going on with guitar right now. Um, speaking yeah. of it, and yeah. yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, so speaking of things going on with guitar, um, just a, a quick note about things that are coming up with ex -Aquo. There's going to be, we're, we're not stopping, even though our, uh, we're, we're working ourselves kind of hard. Um, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna, we've got more content coming with you guys. Uh, coming for you guys pretty soon. Uh, and uh, just a note about our organization, ex -Aquo is a classical guitar advocacy group. It's also a, a 501c3 nonprofit. So we are accepting tax deductible donations. Um, and our mission is to uh, educate and try to give out as much free education as we possibly can. Uh, our goal is also to expand the audience of classical guitar, try to get classical guitar out there to as many people who maybe otherwise wouldn't 
ever know anything about classical guitar. And then uh, finally to improve the community of classical guitar because um, the, the 13 of us in this room or the four, 15 of us in this room know that classical guitar has this incredible community. Um, and when we go to these festivals, the, the vibe is just great. And what we wanna do is just bring that more places, make that uh, a more universal thing. Absolutely. So and, thank you very much. Yeah, and and one of the things that uh, we have going on right now on the website, which may very well be our next project to put together, is the uh, classical guitar family tree. So every, anyone listening right now can submit their classical guitar lineage, all the teachers that they studied with and what they know of who their teachers, teachers, teachers are, if possible. And we're going to be putting together a map on our website of – uh, a complete classical guitar lineage as far back as we possibly can go. Um, so yeah, if you guys get to doing that, that would be awesome. We already have tons that we have to sort through. Uh, we may be signing ourselves up for more work than listening to 145 contestants, but we're up to the task. So, um, Great. Well, I think that, that that just about brings our, our official award ceremony, uh, ceremony to a close. Um, and I think what we'd like to do is, um, if, if you guys are free, if the finalists are free, you can hang out in this zoom call and we're actually going to open this up to anybody on Facebook who wants to come and join. Um, so if, if you want to hang out and get, get congratulated by, by people who watched you play today, hang out. If you want to go to bed or have a drink or something, you can do that too. Um, but yeah, we're we're gonna open it up. I think. Shall we open it up to anyone to join Zoom, but take it off of live stream on Instagram and yes. YouTube? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. Well, hey everyone guys, watching online, thank you so much for tuning in. Your comments, I'm sure these everyone here is probably already scrolling through to see what uh, people said about them, and uh, it was it was really fun in the chat the moments that we got to stop in. So. All right, we're going to go ahead and end this live stream, and then everyone else stick around here, and we'll uh, we'll chat. Cool. Hey guys, quick question: Is, is there yeah. going to be a?